Well, it was a very disappointing lead for all but 0 .06 seconds, tied for about a minute. And uh, yet we didn't deserve to win the game. They deserved to win the game. Um, I made plays. I mean, it's hard to say what our defense was. We hold them to 24 and 10 the first half. Um, they make three threes the whole game. Just such a shame for me. I mean, I. The crowd was unbelievable. Um, it's almost like these players, you know, sometimes they expect everybody to give to them. They got to give something back to the crowd. And we didn't do that. And I didn't, they didn't, and that was disappointing. We're probably not going to win many games if our two shooters go, what did they go, six for 24? Um, you know, uh, both of them struggled. Um, you know, I thought Booker did a nice job. I thought Cohen played OK. It was our veterans. We didn't rebound the ball. Um, we didn't make wide open shots. Uh, that can get frustrating. I only turned it over 10 times before them in the last minute. So I had a lot of film watching to do to find out what I think went wrong. So probably less said the better for me. But I'll answer any question you got. Tom, on the defensive end for you in the second half, what changed to allow them to shoot 51%? Well, I, I thought, uh, you know, Devin Royal, who hasn't been playing much, really hurt us. He gets 14 points there. Um, I just thought that uh, sometimes guys let their offense dictate their defense. And um, we didn't do as good a job. Uh, I thought AJ did a hell of a job on Thornton. And even though Gale only went three for 10, he gets offensive rebounds and gets fouled and gets free throws, goes six for six. And, um, you know, I mean, if you look at their stats other than Royal, they're not very good. And yet uh, they shoot 37 and 17, and we lose at home, you know. And rebounding was part of it. Not getting to the line enough is part of it. Best shooters, not being able to make shots was part of it. Probably I didn't do a good enough job coaching them as part of it and uh, give them credit. Um, we had them down 13 and 12, and they didn't quit, so give them credit. Tom, I know you always focus on accountability for your teams and yourself. You even mentioned last week with the change that this program went through. How much of an X factor is it when they're up, they have a big win against Purdue, they come in like that, it's almost like some new blood. How much of an X factor can that be in uh, run into a team a couple weeks out for something like that? I don't think any. I really don't. I just think when you got three seniors that have been through the wars, um, that shouldn't have anything to do with it, you know? I mean, we're playing for a lot too. And we're at home playing in front of a crowd that was so good and, uh, you know, in between, ripping me and us, which it would be deserved. But at least thank them because they did their job a lot better than I did mine. Um, but I don't, I don't, I really don't think that had anything to do with it. Sure, they won a game. They went to Minnesota and lost. You know, everybody's beaten somebody this year. Uh, it, it was more about us than it was about them in, in, in my mind. And, and it's kind of shown 37, 17, I mean, those aren't very good numbers, and uh, they still won. Tom, wondering about the decision with Booker in the second half. You put him on a bench with 15. They started attacking you guys inside, and I think he had three blocks at that point. What changed with him out for you guys? Well, they were running. Uh, those guards were running off ball screens, and we just didn't think he was uh, as available to do things as some of our veterans. and. Uh, just a coaching decision we made. I love what Booker did. He did a lot of good things. and uh, But there were some things that you didn't see that he didn't do on, on coverages. And and uh, so that's the only thing that changed. Um, 
he did have some blocks. He did have some things, and uh, give him credit for that. But uh, at the same time, um, you know, we struggled to rebound the ball. They were getting rebounds in there, and then maybe he blocks a shot. But but there was nothing bad. Everything about Booker I thought was good. You heavily emphasize more defensive uh, intensity after Tuesday. Despite the outcome, did you see a lot of growth and improvement in that area? I saw some. You know, I thought there was a lot of loose balls we didn't get, a lot of balls on the f ground we didn't get. Um, you know, but like I said, we had two guys that really struggled, and and uh, uh, when you struggle that much shooting the ball, I think it affects all of your game. I didn't think we guarded as well with those guys either. But, uh, The numbers show that we're somewhat better defensively. Yeah. Jaden's been talking a lot over the last like few weeks um, about playing desperate, and tonight it just seemed like you guys didn't really. Oh, I thought he played desperate. I mean, but, take, uh, taking the ball in there, and getting it, you know, doing things that desperate doesn't mean out of control. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no you're good. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to get into. It wasn't until that 7-0 swing in the second half where it really seemed like everyone on the floor was at that desperation point. I guess, did, did you see that, or am I? No, I, I didn't think we were desperate enough the whole game, if you want the truth. I mean, I, I didn't think, I mean, our defense was pretty good, and we were doing some things, but we weren't making shots ever. You know, the whole game, we had wide open. I mean, poor Ty had about three at the end, wide open threes. We just, we didn't, we didn't make any of them. And uh, so I don't know if that's desperate. Um, I think people don't play as desperate now. They're more worried about their own games. As desperate means you're worried about the team. And uh, I, I didn't think we were I, – I didn't think every loose ball um, has been one of our problems. I didn't think we got a lot of those loose balls. I mean, we were down at halftime, right, rebounding? You know, so desperate you would – seven-minute mark, um, I don't think we changed the rebounding much. But we missed some great shots, and uh, hard to do that. I mean, you can't score 60 points at home. That's never happened, I don't think, in a long time. So, uh, Tom, Tyson, I think, took his first shot, I want to say 12 minutes in maybe, and goes where, five for 15. Did, were they guarding him well? Do you think it was just an off night for him? Was it a combination? No, you know, I think he was frustrated with that. But it sure wasn't the calls. And it, I mean, yeah, when you're – one of the better players, you're going to get defended. You know, like I thought, I thought AJ did a hell of a job on Thornton. You know, he gets two breakaways because of turnovers we have. Other than that, he goes two for eleven. You know, so Ty's got to realize that you know people are going to come at him more. They're going to double him. He's going to come off ball screens. They're going to do things. Um, you know, for some reason tonight, I thought it really frustrated him, but maybe not. Um, but. You know, like I said, if my two shooters shoot that way, we're not going to um, – nobody's going to win games with that, you know. Your defense going to carry you so far. Uh, Tom, one of the narratives around this team is that they've been somewhat feast or famine throughout the year. How much would you say you agree with that sentiment? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know where the feast has been. You know, I mean, uh, I don't think any game I felt like we, you know, got, I shouldn't say any, but not enough games. We, we, we put our foot on their throat, you know. I, I, I don't think we've done a great job of that. AJ said, you know, we're not finishing very well. He was right. So I don't know if it's feast or famine. Um, I really don't, but we'll uh, – I'm just going to have to look at the film and see. You know, it, it, Some of the things we did I just thought were mind-boggling to me. And uh, that's under my tutelage, so i got to figure it out. Tom, um, I know in the Big Ten anybody can win anywhere, but you had two games here at home. How do you stop the bleeding singer with your remaining games that are coming up? And would you rather have another game this week or – do you think the team needs uh, the week? Yeah, you know, I told you about the basketball gods. The basketball gods, you know, we've been going on a pretty tough schedule, right? And now this week we get five or six days between games and it's spring break. You know, you can 
think that's good. It's not good. I mean, last week I gave them two days off just because I thought they were so worn down. So um, your question was what? I'm sorry. Just how do you uh, stop the bleeding, getting ready to go into Mac? I mean, I know Play Edie. Stop the bleeding that way. Um, you know, this is one time I'm going to say they've got to figure some things out too. You know, we had a really good couple of days of practice. And early on when we missed some shots, guys' heads just went down. I mean, it was, it was to be honest with you, that's ridiculous. And uh, so, you know, we'll meet with them, we'll talk to them, we'll, we'll work at it. But they got to make some decisions too. And, uh, you know, it's a day and age and we're not allowed to blame anybody else, so I'll take all the blame. But players got to make some decisions, you know. Um, we had enough good shots. We had enough chances to get a rebound, and we didn't do that. And uh, we got to do a better job of that. Tom, uh, Ohio State playing without Jamison Battle and the head. Yeah, I think that helped them. You know, yeah, I know it sounds stupid, but last year, you know, they played without a great player, their best player, and uh, and I warned my staff about that. You know, and I thought uh, Gail did a lot more. It was a lot more active. I shouldn't say it helped them, but um, I don't know if Royal would have played as much. Um, in fact, he wouldn't have because they would have played him at the four. Um, I thought they went to Oak Park, Oak Park a little bit more. So uh, give Jay credit. He did a good job of that. And uh, But you never know. You know, sometimes I, I swear when I get into a game, if somebody's missing a player and I don't find out till right before the game, it's never a good thing from my standpoint. And yet... Uh, I, I do appreciate that Battle's a good player, and but I don't look at it like, boy, if they had a battle, they'd have beat you by 15. I really don't. Well, what, what I wanted to ask was that uh, you ha they had some guys step up that weren't expecting, I'm sure, coming right. in this morning. What does it take for a player, maybe at this stage of the season, to be able to say, okay, this guy's not playing. I need to give more than I've given at any point. How does a player do that at this point of the season? Oh, man. I know when I was a player, that would have been a dream come true. You know, you never hope somebody else gets hurt or somebody else is sick or something. But I remember one time when a freshman coach that I had said, don't worry about why you get the opportunity. Just make sure you take advantage of the opportunity. A guy named Dwayne Jones, who coached at UAD and all over. Um, it's a pretty good point. You know, some guys do that. Some guys don't. And uh, I just thought that uh, they had a couple guys, and give Royal credit. Um, he really stepped up. But you know, if you look at the rest of their stats, they're not very good either, and uh, neither are ours. We saw Madi look a little more comfortable off the bench today. Uh, how did the change, the move to the bench, affect him from a confidence standpoint? Oh, look, at, here's, here's the deal on that, so you know. I mean, um, you know, some of you are going to be so incredibly um, most of you have gone to every practice every week since I started the season one time, right? Most of you. And you saw what Book was like, you know. I think it was uh, Tyson Walker said to me two days ago, man, he's improved in two weeks, you know. So, I, you know, the easy thing for a writer to do is say, why didn't you play him more? Why didn't you do this? And um, trust me when I say Book knows exactly what's going on. I spent hours with Book hours and help me tell me what he was feeling and what he thinks he wasn't ready for and was and uh, we did it because we thought the matchup at center was more his size you know compared to some of these beasts that we've played against and so that has something to do with it and you don't want to put a guy in there and he gets crushed and then the confidence goes to hell but we'll be able to build on this with Marty. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, we, we got a strange situation the next game because you got a guy that is so big and they go to so often. Um, so we'll have to make some decisions. But uh, I'm really proud of Marty. I mean, uh, he gave an interview to somebody in here, and Jay Wright, who was at the game, said it was one of the best interviews he'd ever heard because he didn't complain, didn't do this and that, explained things very well. And I think 
there's an advantage to letting you guys come to practice. If you really come there to look and watch and not gossip and talk, you'd see what he could and couldn't do. And he is getting better, and that's what should happen, just like it did to Draymond at the end of the season and just like it did to Xavier Tillman. I mean, guys, that's, that's what the process is. So um, we're going to continue to grow with him. He's going to be a superstar next year. I really believe that. He'll get bigger and stronger and, and learn how to play more physical. And, and hopefully we'll make some progress still this year and what we got left. Early in the season, you had mentioned that like leadership was kind of a concern whether or not this, this group is prepared for that type of responsibility. Um, Sounds like we're still seeing that a little bit now at yeah. this point. How, I guess, concerning is it that that is still an issue with guys that have been here and done that? And is it salvageable well, at this point? Well, it's not. You know, uh, being a leader doesn't mean that you're experienced. I mean, I had experienced guys that couldn't lead their way out of a, you know, bathroom. I mean, just because you're experienced, that doesn't mean you're a leader. You know, leadership is something that we're all craving for. We're all looking for leadership is something that is within. I mean, uh, you have to take care of yourself and you have to take care of others. That's what leaders do. And there's not a lot of people. And I said, I told you, I thought COVID hurt that because we all siloed in on ourselves. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that our leadership is very good, but I told you the same to me at the beginning. I, I hope nobody thought I was going to give somebody a shot and all of a sudden they became a leader because that doesn't happen. Um, you know, there's some great players that you followed that were great players and not great leaders. And there's another guy that's not a great player, maybe, but is a great leader. And that's the problem, you know, is, uh, but I don't know if that had anything to do with tonight. I thought, you know, I put a lot on uh, AJ and I, I was really, uh, I really was pleased with AJ for the most part. I'd like to see him rebound a little bit better but uh, he played damn good defense on a very good player in Thornton. He, uh, he went four for eight. He made one for one from the three and nine points, four assists, one turnover, a block shot. I thought AJ played pretty well. Um, you know, we're just not very strong in that, that. Some of it's just our size. They go inside and get fouled. We go inside and they call it a block. You know, I, I was a little disappointed in that with the officiating too, but that's the way it goes when the basketball gods get you. Tom, so I don't know if this is too similar, but I'm just wondering, did you hear a player voice in the locker room after when you lost two straight home games late in the year? Did that let you know, like, they get a, they have a sense of no, what type of opportunity not. this was? And, and no, I mean, everybody's pretty down about it, you know. Thank God we got a week in a way, but no, no, no. I mean, and that's not totally abnormal. The first one, yes. The second one, you know, I mean, guys led the whole game and were stunned with a, I don't know, anybody know what kind of shot that was? I mean, was it open? No, just falling away, kind of, I heard. I didn't, I didn't really see it. That refs that I thought were average got in the way of mine, so I, I didn't see it. Um, but, um, no, there was nobody, uh, you know, I think everybody was pretty down, which can be a positive, too. They should be down. You know, I don't, I don't remember losing two games in a row, and I don't know, Matt, you'd know. So, you know, um, I'm going to have to figure out how to change that. and. Uh, just disappointing that we would shoot as poorly as we shot. I mean, when Ty had that one in the corner, he's had two in the corner with nobody near him. Um, just kind of hope those go in. Uh, if they don't go in, you don't win. If they do go in, all of a sudden you're up. You know, Book had one halfway down, would have put us up, I think, 12 or 11. Ty had a couple that would have put us up seven or eight. Um, game changes a lot. and. Uh, we didn't do a very good job at the end. Um, you know, we kind of figured and knew what they'd go to, and they went to it. A little bit of a blown coverage. Marty had uh, doubled the, the low post a couple times earlier, and then he got that foul, which 
to have Phantom. And then uh, the last time he just didn't go. And I mean, AJ, when you're one on one with a guy, it sure wasn't his fault. So they deserve to win. Um, how much does this one sting to compared to some other losses this year, especially with this one being at, at the buzzer, basically? Um, I would say this one stings about as much as any loss I've had in eight or ten years. You know, I just felt like we practiced well enough to really play well. I didn't care who they had. I was more worried about us than them. And uh, we didn't. And uh, so at the end of the day, as I always is, I have to take the responsibility for that and will. I just got to make sure I watch the film and know everything I'm talking about before I do it. But uh, I'll do it. And uh, I'll watch it tonight. I'll try to figure it out. And, but, you know, nobody tried to miss shots. Um, the crowd tried hard to keep us in it. I mean, I mean, they were so damn good, it's, uh, I just feel bad. I am different than a player. I do feel like um, I play for all the people. I play for 600,000 alums. I play for every player that ever played here. And I, I'm saddened to think that I don't I don't see enough players doing that this day and age, and and uh, I do feel bad about that. But times are changing, and things are changing, and just part of the new world. But um, I'll look at that and try to figure it out. So whatever. Yeah, I'm just wondering about the other bigs. Um, you know, kind of what you saw from Coop and and Kohler. It seemed like there were moments of Good play and, yeah. and some defensive lapses, maybe. Yeah, but. you know that's exactly right. And uh, you know with Kohler and and uh, Xavier, we we got more offense. Uh, Madi was by far the best rebounder of the bunch. I don't know what he ended up with, but he got his hands on a lot of them. He gets six in 15 minutes. You know he's by far the best rebounder. And. Uh, and did a good job defensively in a lot of ways, except maybe for that last one. But, um, you know, I didn't think Coop was quite as good as he's been and, and uh, you know, defensively or rebounding. And uh, I should check and see before I say it. I, I thought Jackson played okay, you know. I thought Jackson played okay. I, I mean, Coop had nothing but a foul and a turnover, you know. Um, didn't get a rebound. and. But maybe it's hard to do that in seven, eight minutes. You know, I, I don't know. Um, but I thought in some ways we tried to rotate the guys to get what we could get out of the guys um, for what we were missing. And uh, the rebounding was hurting us. And uh, that's why we did what we did. All set, guys. Thanks.